Well, one part of town, one night, 116 traffic stops. Yeah, the number is big, and so is the problem of illegal straight racing in the Valley. Authorities have announced their very latest efforts to crack down on the issue, and they are seeing results. 8 News Now reporter Sasha Loftus joining us live from the Northwest with more. Denise and Brian, you can see these tire tracks here left over from drifting and drag racing just a few weeks ago. Those we spoke with in this area say they're glad something is being done to stop things like this from happening again. It was just out of control chaos, really. Paul Caratini describes this startling scene happening in his neighborhood. It's just an accident waiting to happen. Dozens gathered, racing and drifting near Gowan and Grand Canyon on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Unfortunately, situations like this are all too common across the Northwest Valley. 8 News Now has spoken to many others who say they're fed up and want to see something done. Reckless driving going on in our neighborhood for the past two and a half years. These uh, individuals were doing these 360s and fast. It was so fast. They could have lost control at any time. On Sunday, North Las Vegas police and Metro police joined efforts to crack down on reckless driving and illegal street racing. 19 officers made 116 traffic stops on roads notorious for complaints. They issued 11 citations for reckless driving and 68 for speeding. They also caught four drag racers in the act. I think this is a great start. Caratini says he's thrilled to see action being taken and hopes this will deter others from turning his backyard into a dangerous drag strip. I'm glad that they did something about it. Now, Metro has reported several other street racing crackdowns over the last few months. They ticketed 41 people and arrested 19 others on January 3rd, just a few weeks ago, for racing, speeding, and what they call trick driving. Reporting live in the Northwest Valley tonight, Sasha Loftus, live, local, now.